In Shanghai, technicians and artists are working to create a replica of one of the Kucha grottos. For them, it's a unique challenge. Li Song and Chu Yunfei are responsible for remedying the deviations in the patched together areas of the fresco reproduction, which will be mounted in the grotto replica. Li Changzhong and Xie Huoyong are responsible for matching the digital colors with the colors used in the grottos. Wang Wenjie, the artistic supervisor on the project, decides to travel to Xinjiang again to compare the colors in the printouts with the colors in Cave 17 of the Kitsil grottos. Wang Wenjie is anxious to do this comparison. As soon as he arrives, he takes the printouts to Cave 17. Wang Wenjie puts on a jacket to keep himself warm inside the cave. And with the help of Yi Mai Ti, the grotto caretaker, he starts to compare the colors in the printouts with those on the fresco. Wang Wenjie compares the colors on the printouts with those on the fresco in the cave again and again, jotting down the differences. Li Fu and Zhang Ting from the Fine Arts section of the Kucha Research Institute are making a copy of the fresco in Cave 14, which isn't far from Cave 17. Before digital techniques were invented, frescoes were copied by hand. When Han Le Ran came here to make copies of the frescoes in 1946, he was the first painter to do so. After the founding of the Kucha Research Institute, Painters from its fine arts section have continuously made copies of the frescoes in these grottos. K14 of the Kitzel Grottos is square, and it's an incredibly cramped space for two to work in. However, this small cave contains many well-preserved frescoes, and those depicting the life of the Buddha are particularly vivid and interesting. The painters make copies using natural mineral pigments in order to approximate as closely as possible the color of the original frescoes. However, mineral pigments are very hard to come by. It's because of this that the painters of the Kuchar Research Institute produce these pigments themselves. Uh 当时的这些那个信徒们就是花非常那个昂贵的价格做这个矿物颜料也有几家
Most of the caves of the Kitzel Grottoes have a central pillar. In fact, it's the most typical feature of the grottoes in Kucha. No matter how the contents, subjects and picture techniques changed in the grottoes, the central pillar was always retained. Two new staff members of the Kucha Research Institute are doing fieldwork under the guidance of Wang Jianlin, a research fellow of the Institute. And the main subject of their study is Cave 38. Kudarichamadunda 菱形格的是本身故事和因缘故事咱们可以看到啊这个每一个菱形格的是有一幅画但是呢每一幅画呢它又是一个完整的单独的独立的一个故事啊这就很多了啊这种故事就很多很多啊七三年这里招工嘛
Ding Jinping rejoins the working team to deal with the problem of patching up the parts of the fresco reproduction. <laughs> He tries to change how he trims the sides of the copies by sticking them onto the wall of the grotto replica directly using an adhesive. This working team is exploring how to preserve something of incalculable historical importance. They have to test and reevaluate their methods constantly. At the Kucha Research Institute, Wang Jianlin is sorting out the frescoes kept there. Painter Wang Wenjie uses this chance to take a good look at them. This copy of a fresco from Cave 12 of the Kum Tu La Grottoes was made before it was destroyed by floodwaters in the 1980s. It is thus very precious. From the frescoes and the grottoes that still exist in Kulcha, people can discern the influence of Gandhara art from India on the painters who drew them. In the 4th century BC, Alexander the Great's crusade of conquest brought images of Greek gods from the Aegean Sea to the Gandhara region in the northwestern part of India. Close in time to the 1st century BC, Buddhism became the dominant religion in India, which at the time was under the rule of the Kushan Empire. Sculptors in the Gandhara region assimilated features of Greek art into their sculpting of the statues of the Buddha. When Buddhism was introduced into the Kucha kingdom, painters assimilated the features of Gandhara art into their mural work. The style used in painting the Kucha frescoes was thus developed by assimilating elements from various other art styles, Eastern and Western. From the perspective of the artistic perspective, it includes the perspective of the human beings or the perspective of the human beings. So, it has a difference between the human beings and the human beings. Another thing is the perspective.
Wang Wenjie has asked two workers who have built roads in the area to help him measure the cave with a homemade surveyor's rod. Wang Wenjie takes photos of the frescoes. He will send them to Shanghai for use in the mounting work. Jiangjun Li Ma Wang Changsa Cheng Xi Wei Lu Hing Yang Zuo Ye Du Ji Jie Ying Xu Song Jian Bing Ji Xue Wei Hua Yesuna Wang Wenjie has now finished his work at the Kitzel Grottoes. On his way back to Shanghai, he stops in Urumqi to visit a specialist on the Kucha frescoes. Jia Yingyi has compiled many books about the Kucha frescoes with other researchers. At 76, she still remembers clearly the grottoes as she saw them when she went to Kucha for the first time. Hey,你把家老师牵好了 
，生挖洞关节梁不成棒嘛，毛主席的号召那个，就到处挖防空洞。他们这时候挖防空洞挖的，就在那儿我发现的，新一新二窟，这两个洞窟挖出来这颜色特别漂亮。我是个唯物主义者，我不相信那个那些神通的那些东西，都是实事求是的东西。但是他一种精神影响了你了，你觉得你的个性都比较比较随和了啊、哦，也比较宽容了，像过去呃动的整人什么那些社会那样的啊、哦，那就好像就很宽容，对人就什么都能接受。调查过民王本身，嗯，本身故事的意思就是说，佛生前还没成佛以前。做过各种各样的东西吧，他呢经过了这多年的这样的修行以后呢，他才成了佛。一个这个方格是一个本身故事，是吧？虽然是一个故事，但是他甚至宣传他佛教的道理。The pictures in the multiple diamond frames tell stories about the Buddha and about Kucha in a unique way. The diamond frames represent. Sumeru Mountain, revered by Buddhists as the center of the Buddhist world. Buddhist followers build grottos in Kucha to express their wishes to reach that holy mountain. The mountain is the highest point. 支出的位置呢，垂直线和那个中线，这里拉个中线，和那个眉心的吉祥值差是零点六厘米。The parts of the curved ceiling of the dome are finally patched together. The working team members begin to re-examine the result against the data Wang Wenji obtained from the dome of the original in the cave in Kucha. 王文杰's rigorous, detail-oriented attitude has exerted a quiet influence on the young members of the team. Xia Huoyong starts to see things from a new perspective. He joins Wang to match the color tones on the images. Eventually, they work out an ideal scheme for the color reproduction. In the sweltering summer, they continue their work, but will they achieve their goals? In order to obtain deeper knowledge about Kucha, Wang Wenjie travels to Berlin. It's a story about one man's eventful life and a story about how an artificial mountain was built. But how did the frescoes from the same grotto end up being so far apart? Please join us next time for part five of the Kucha Grottoes. <laughs>